Okay, I know it's pretty late making this video right now, but it has to be said, okay? I'm about to go to bed. It's like 9.50, something like that. But other than that, man, you guys see the title. No one, why no one is ready for 2022. Let's get one thing straight, okay? COVID, okay, we all know. COVID's going around right now. All these variants and things like that, okay? But here's the thing. I'm going to just sit down quickly. And most of these videos, by the way, disclaimer, it's just going to be... Some of them are going to be raw footage. I do edit, um, but I'm trying to fix the lighting. I do edit from time to time. Um, I'm still... I'm working on that a lot, but... Yeah, I mean... Let's let's get straight to business, okay? I mean, seriously, since ever since COVID started, I think it's the reason to everyone's problems, especially um, people losing loved ones. But the reason why no one's ready for 2022, well, they're not, just not ready for another year. I, I see every single morning people that are running to the bus, going to their nine to five jobs. Not They're not getting the... Okay, the bag is not the point, okay, the money. But it's just, the reason why I'm talking about that is because they're, they're being consistent, but they're not getting value. I see the same people literally Monday through Friday, every morning. Because um, I go to drop off my mom in the morning and I head to the Y, but I, I, I always see them running to the bus, being late for work. People are just... Man, I don't know. People are not fully there yet. They're not composed with the environment. They haven't yet sat down to know what's going on in the world. They know it's just they have too many things going on in their life. But what people don't know is how do they translate their life into the world? What I mean by that is what can they contribute? Can they help? Of course they can. So can you. And that's why I'm relying on you guys, because the younger generation is the future, and we're basically the only, we're everyone's last hope, okay? I mean, seriously, if you really care about the world, then you should do something. And I'm not saying that you're a bad person, or you're just unaware and don't give a shit. I know, everyone has everything in their life, but just take a little time out of the day, give advice to people, just even water, literally just pour pour water on grass, bro. Try to do something. And it's something little. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, I think I'm kind of getting far out the subject. But basically, I think with this self-help community getting bigger and bigger every single day, people are slowly starting to wake up even more more and more every single day and with this community man this self help community it's it's ready for 2022 it's ready for a new year the only people that america not just america well yeah i'll get to that later but the world's looking up to is for 2022 who knows well guess who knows i know that this generation will help for this next and upcoming year. Okay. Now, when I say America and fixing America, well, first of all, America hasn't been fixed in a long time. Okay. It's not, hasn't been, no one has been contributing. No one has been, I hear all these people say, these YouTubers and people online say when they were younger, 20 years ago, they were like, oh, the youth has got to save America. The youth, nothing has happened. We got to do something, something important. Realize what you're doing is wrong. Get that out the way and actually do something. You don't just watch me sit here, say this stuff without doing anything. That's simply not why I'm here. I'm here for you to listen to me, right? I'm here for you to contribute from what I'm saying. And the reason I'll get back to that again, why I'm saying America, well, everyone looks up to America. Okay, well, we don't have a high social status. Get the word out there, right? Try to, At least try to get the word out there, right? You're not very well known. But talk to people, speak to people, because, I mean, the, uh, this channel is going to be all about awareness, okay? I mean, I might change, let me know if you guys want me to change the, the cover of the channel. It's literally my face staring at the camera. Um, but, um, 
Yeah, because I might change it to Be Aware 2021. I don't know. I'll decide that. But either way, I think 2021 has been a roller coaster. Uh, to be honest, 2021 has been the best, best years of my life. And I could say that with confidence. Why? Well, 2020 wasn't a year of downgrades, a year of hope. Every single day I see different things happen all over the world. Simply, I just find, okay, more hope. I'm observing, okay? And what I mean by, okay, let me just clear things up. What I mean by, I see more hope with, you guys are probably thinking, oh, how the hell do you see more hope when someone just got in a car accident, when people just lost their homes? Well, it's learning. I'm learning how I can help, how you can help, because you are more than what you think. Stop, bro, stop, stop putting in these headphones, stop putting in these AirPods in your ears, Blocking out the sound of the world. Stop that, bro. Stop that. And by the way, these are my, my mom's AirPods. But that's besides the point. Stop putting headphones in your ears. Blocking out the noise of the world. I get it if you're doing something. but And what I mean, I get it if you're doing something. Um, like working out. Just jamming to music. Okay, I don't give a shit. But uh, basically what I mean is when you're out somewhere. I, I will I tend to see people usually have airpods in around the world uh, around the world um, around like when they're walking in the morning crossing the street simply and on their phones being ignorant of what's going on around them right so I think and that just sucks I mean people are just on their phone all the time that's a new reality I mean and you have to live with it but at the same time you don't because you could start by yourself. Your phone is a weapon. And me, myself, I'm still trying to, like, get off my phone more of the time, most of the time. Oh, yeah, don't get it. Don't get it fucked up. Right after a sh shower, I literally, you'll see me in my room. Like, just in my towel, watching YouTube. I'll probably be watching Minecraft videos. Or I don't know the fuck. All right? I'll probably be watching Brownie or Joe Fazer or David Laid, something. I don't even know. Um... Yeah, but, I mean, basically the message is be aware and be ready. 2021, or, well, yeah, I mean, 2022 is what I meant to say. It's going to be a big year. I, I have high hopes for it. I really, really do. But you don't have to wait, right? I'm not I'm not saying, oh, okay, Spirit's telling me, oh, wait till 2022. I'll start making a change. Start making a change now because then it'll contribute to a new year. When you're not looking towards the new year and you're starting by the end of the year, people will know what you've done by the start of the year. So plan ahead of time. You should plan ahead of time and really acknowledge um, what people think before you start helping, right? Um, but yeah, I mean, that's just, message today, I had to get this video out, man. Why no one is ready for 2022, simply. And I haven't really stated the reasons, I'll state it now. For the, like the next 30 seconds. Basically, simply, we mentioned COVID. We mentioned different variants. People are freaking out. Every, like literally every single thing, people are freaking the hell out. I mean, it's getting, I could say intense. But you, you need to stand tall. You simply need to stand tall. A winner is someone who stands tall. Standing up for someone... It's just one thing. You can do more than that. The world needs more winners. And I know you guys can become winners too. Okay? I know how far the world has come to. But we have one planet, simply. I mean, look at Elon Musk. Does he care? Does he Does he truly, really care? He's Mars is just a secondary planet. He knows his planet's going to go to shit. Oh yeah, he knows. But if he said it, everyone would freak out. But you know what we could do? We could help and fix it starting now. 2022, people are going to be dead. People are going to be so unaware of what they're doing. Scrolling all day. And I'm asking you guys to stop scrolling. Just stop. Stop scrolling. Like, don't permanently delete 
social media, but take less time off of it. I tend to, when I walk around outside, I tend to use my environment for ideas I have for YouTube. And that should be you guys too. I'm not saying when you guys walk around and have ideas for YouTube, you know, you guys should start a YouTube channel. If you guys want to, that's great. I don't, I don't care, do whatever. But you guys need to use your environment to your advantage. And that's what I do literally all the time. I think of new ideas. I think of things, how people treat each other, how people, um, you know, interact with each other. Because that's what the world is based upon. Not just scrolling.